okay in this part which is the second part uh, I have deleted that uh, diagram which we created previously and I came up with this so how can we uh, create another one so we'll go to new and you select in the diagram you go okay of course here this is the dash and you go to diagram and the diagram you go to new because I want to create diagram and I go to use case diagram this is use case diagram so I click on this one and next then I select blank one and if you want to give it a name like I'm going to call it uh, dice game if you want description what what is about okay uh, then okay you will get up to again to this uh, place where we left it and here you see this is the dice game I have so if I double click on that one it is here that's I'm here so I want to create the dice game here again I will go to that one and same dice game dice game the name of the application and here is an actor here which is the player and the player will will have so just simple one I usually uh, use simple application that to show you all the process then you can develop as you like whatever you want so we'll get the use case here which is we can call it play game play a game play dice game dice game you can say play dice game and then we have uh, that one which is to here which is that's the play okay just normal link uh, that's to play the dice game so this is how we created before so what can we do here we can do several things I can explain this because as you see every use case it must be explained so how to explain the use case usually we go to uh, go to explain the use case here you go to right click and then go to open use case details here is the details of the use case Okay, so what do you have for this use case details? First of all, this is the rank. If you want to rank it like high, medium, or whatever, it is very high now because it's the only one we have. And this is the ID. You give it any ID, you can use case one, use case two, use case whatever you want to call it. And this is the status, which is ID for discuss, design, or whatever you can identify and here justification primary actor here a player only player we have a sponsor actors uh, supporting actors uh, sorry supporting actors if there is any supporting things like uh, a secondary actor at the moment we don't have that and here is description you can describe what is this so for instance uh, um, this use case is uh, capture the uh, face values of two dice rolled by the player okay. if the total of the faces The, die, the two dice equals to seven the player win otherwise the player lose the game as simple as that so this is the 
brief explanation. So that's what we talked about in the system analysis, the brief description. So this is a brief, uh, any note, use case note if you want to put note or something. You, these are not very important. Flow of events. This is the important one, which is the flow of the events. The flow of the events here, I want you to write what are the steps exactly, what's going on. So the player will roll the dice. And here are two dice. He rolled them together, yes. But in the reality, each one would be rolled separately. So you can say player roll die one. That's the first step. Then you can say he can roll the second day, player roll die two. Then I want to get the face value of die one and die two. So it depends now this is the uh, how you do this. Some uh, sometimes it's not necessary the steps to be up and down uh, as I'll show you now. Uh, or and the main thing is you want to discuss this with the user like to capture the information correctly and then next player uh, the game game or regate okay. let's say game gates uh, the face value of the first die similarly this one game gets the value of the second die second die and then what to do here we get the total total uh, calculate game you see you should tell like who is going to do this Cal the total of the two dice faces then now I want to check if it is 7 or not 7 so now the here is some functions here I will go to the function here which is F here if total equals 7 then what do I want to do? If it is the total equal to 7, display display 1 and maybe smiley face. Otherwise, I want to add now another one which is else. The else, you go to the if and click here and you go to the else. Create else. The else is here. And then here in the else, what do you do? You say else what display lost. You lost. You lost. And then maybe sad face. And then it is ended. That's it. So this is simply this is the sequence or we call the flow of events and there are some details if you want to say details or whatever requirement and diagrams we'll come to the diagrams in a minute and so on okay so these are the important things which is the information and the flow of events so we have these are the steps of how to create the flow of events which is the we can say the scenario of the use case you may have more than one scenario if you want you can have yani, yani, yani within the scenario there are a few steps more steps and you want to go through each one now uh, I'm going to leave it here for the next video where we are going to develop the sequence diagram for this how these are going to be. but before I leave let me tell you here the roll dice one and die one and roll die two it could be one after the other but the face value will be kept in the class or in the object then we can get them 
but that is possible to have this one up to be here like roll die one and then uh, get the face value of the die then roll die two and then get the face value of the second die then calculate the two faces and the total of the total this and so and this is the total we calculated here so in this uh, video I showed you how to elaborate the use case and make the details explain it as the main scenario of the use case each use case you do the same thing so here if you go to the to the here and you can create another one maybe and you do the same thing how to go back just to remind you go here and open the details and you will see the details here okay thank you see you in the next video